So you started, what year did you start your journey into YouTube? Uh, 2014. It was uh, right after I uh, sold my, com- well, I had to sell my comic shop because I relapsed. And uh, it was really sad. It was very sad, but I had to do it because uh, my life had just gone to crap. So it was either like keep the comic store going, keep getting high, or keep my family. So I kept my family, sold the comic store, and started a podcast uh, just to stay in the nerd stuff. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I personally hate the word community because I think it's a commie word. So I use the fellowship <laughs> instead. But, oh, my um, boy. We call it a gang. <laughs> there we go. Gang, syndicate, something. Yeah. <laughs> I just hear I hear too many people from Hollywood say community. But uh, it's fine if you use it. But, um, yeah, it was just a hobby. Uh, and I had to kind of start over and, uh, you know, work parts jobs again. So, yeah, we just, me and a, a friend start did our first one in San Francisco in a Starbucks. That was my first podcast. And we did, like, two a month for... A few years now, 10 years on, oh, Dude, here yeah. we are. You you've, know? Been, you've been through the grind on this, and you're going, uh, so your nerd shop, that was, you said you relapsed, so before that. it's called you, a comic book store. A comic nerd book shop. Yeah, comic nerd book shop. store. Oh, wow. so, so anyway, about this fucking nerd, nerd shit shop. you fucking did. <laughs> As <laughs> man with Goku on his hand. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yo, so anyway, uh, the virgin bar you had. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not far from the truth, but you know, it's all good. How long did uh, it take to build that? Cause you had, as you said, you relapsed. And before that you were like, Hey, I'm going to do, you had your issues when you were younger. You got that yeah. sorted. Got, yeah. Had, had a lot of issues when I was in my teenage years and stuff, Don't uh, we? Oh. you know, went, went, went to prison, got out, cleaned up, uh, got married, divorced, married again, moved to San Francisco and uh, started a comic shop and did it for 10 years. And it was uh, it was tons of fun. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I'd never owned a business before. So I read that. Well, I only read like a quarter of a small business for dummies. And I thought, I got this, you know, and uh, I've seen the Simpsons. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Went to my head a little bit. That's probably why I relapsed. But well, that's exactly why I relapsed. <laughs> It went to my head and I stopped going to meetings and I got uh, lost my sponsor. And that's how I relapsed. But um it was fun and the clients were fun and and yes it was in San Francisco but it was very working class comic shop so normal yeah. people it's was, regular folk I was just going to ask like it's a uh, comic book shop in San Francisco do you ever run into any crazy people like 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 famous people or people that mm. you like uh uh like who's uh Mark I'm trying to remember like Jay Silent Bob uh Kevin uh, Smith Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith like somebody like people in the space Uh yeah so um Robin Williams huge Comic collector, toy really? collector, uh, went in my store a couple times. Uh, he, no he made rounds to all the stores in San Francisco because he lived there. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. Um, his daughter's named Zelda. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, and Peter Jackson and Philip Boyens. That was the biggest one no ever. Oh, shit. Yeah. I about had a heart attack when it <laughs> came Holy in. Holy shit. So say, I, kept, you, I kept the receipt. I still have it, by the way. That's awesome. Yeah. You, you hate Lord of the Rings. By I, the way. I fucking you despise it. It's freaking terrible. It. We're so overrated. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, Peter Jackson walks in your story. I'd just be like, I didn't recognize him first because it was right after he did King Kong. I think it was right around this time. Mm-hmm. And he lost all that weight. All that weight. So at first I'm like, what British rock star just walked into my, I'm like, oh my God. That's because I recognized Philippa Boyens who, uh, Boyens, who co-wrote the script for Lord of the Rings. So I recognized her. That's a dedicated fan to recognize yeah. that guy. Her. 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 Oh, oh. Her. see, I'm not a dedicated <laughs> fan. <laughs> women. Script script. Script. Like, oh. Yeah, apparently women didn't write anything prior to 2016, but they did. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that was cool. They uh, bought a bunch of Why the Last Man, the, a full run of Why the Last Man, and hung out for about a half an hour. We chatted with them. They're super nice. Yeah. You got a photo? Uh, I don't have a photo. Oh. It was before that, like, oh, that, yeah. you just have your phone. Uh, <laughs> Tyrese s- Gibson. I've got 18 uh, pixels from my razor. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Tyrese Gibson and MC, he brought MC Hammer. Over that was that's oh what the, yeah MC Hammer rolls up in a like a purple Lambo. Well, it was before Hellcat. It was a it was a muscle car. That this is like 2007. I can't remember which was around back then. And then uh, yeah, he he walks out with his uh, nine thousand dollar leather jacket on that he had to tell me this this leather jacket because I said nice leather. He's all it's nine thousand dollars. I'm like shit. 
That's a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, Tyrese. Like, wow, you <laughs> haven't had a hit in 30 years. You probably you know, shouldn't be spending your money probably like that. Probably not. Well, he had his reality show, right, for a little while after that. I don't know what's happened to him since. But yeah, Tyrese uh, I don't know had a comic alive. book. And uh, we released it in the store. And he was, Tyrese, Tyrese was funny. Uh, I still have his phone number. Should we call him? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. But uh, he calls me at one in the morning. He's all, Gary, dog, we got to talk about this, this event tomorrow. I'm like, dude, it's, it's one in the morning. And it's, we're fine. You just show up and <laughs> well, you sign comic books. What do we need to talk about? He's all, I'm going to bring some people over. And he did. And it was great. It was a huge event. But right. uh, I'm confused. Tyrese Gibson? Tyrese gets Fast and the Furious. Tyrese gets Oh, that one. I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. I, was, okay. I was wondering if you were about to go into Ebonics there. You started you started like you were gonna. <laughs> I was going, dog. D-A-W-G. So you did? Dang. Yeah, so we had a lot of... Ray Stevenson from Rome, who just passed away. May he rest in peace. He played the Punisher in Punisher Warzone. He came by. Uh, but um, I didn't have a lot of comic book writers and artists over because they were dicks. Like, sorry, guys. Really? Yeah, they were mostly like hard to deal with, and uh, I just were they rather... just like autistic and didn't like to like they they didn't talk well with people, or were they like yeah, self absorbed, kind of self absorbed, overvalued? Like how many people would show up? Uh, and I would, like while well, I was a fan, and like our customer base would, bring, but it's supposed to bring in like new people, so you know, it wasn't even like. If they were big, they had to be like people I liked. And uh, yeah. after a couple of bad experiences, I just said, forget it, you know. And I started doing more fan stuff, oriented stuff after that. So, and then Shit, when dude. did your like when did you feel that first wave for? Hey, I'm doing the comics. Just did uh, sold it, relapsed, got better, and then you're like, hey, I'm going full fledged into YouTube. That was weird. Um, so I'm I. I was just reviewing TV and stuff, and there was like no, like the culture war hadn't sparked or the pop culture war hadn't sparked up. It was, you know, it was getting there. Um, and I was working at Tesla, and, uh, you know, as I, one I, does in San Francisco. As one does in San Francisco. Oh, that uh, right. It was like one of my 15th jobs after the comic store because I just kept changing jobs to, to get more pay. And uh, it's more complicated than that, but that's pretty much what was it. And, uh, Doctor Who comes up. So Last Jedi just happened. Everybody hates The Last Jedi. This is what kind of sparked, I don't want to go too far in the lore, but Ghostbusters 2016, Last Jedi sparked oh, the yeah. pop God. culture war. Um, All my homies hate The Last Jedi. Because it, it sucks. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Ghostbusters 2016 uh, was a piece of shit. But um, Doctor Who comes along, and mm. that's like the next franchise to fall, and they, they turn the Doctor, like it's my yeah. favorite all-time show. They turn it into a girl. And I just said this controversial thing, like the doctor's a dude. It's not a girl. Smith or Tennant? Uh, right now, Smith. They retconned everything with they, that with, one single episode. Donut, do you know about this? Like, uh, they retconned. You know Doctor Who at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. followed Doctor Who for a while there. Yeah. I so, stopped watching it. Oh, uh, well, fucking six years ago. Yeah. I, 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 kinda, I struggled through Capaldi. And then after that, I'm done. I, I didn't. The new chick, I just, no. I'm she was terrible. Uh, it was preachy. Capaldi was like the best doctor in the worst episodes, which really sucked. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. But Smith well, you didn't now, like sword fighting with a spoon? That uh, wasn't no, the peak doctor for you? I didn't like uh, him talking about the whitewashing of history and calling out Trump. I love the Trump derangement episode, yeah. which we had really? another one with Jody. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah they, 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 it got in, bad. It got it, bad even before Jody. It's yeah. well, it's it's literally British broadcast cha cha Like it's it's British propaganda. The whole thing is just like state run, yeah. well, but it used to like not be. It used to be for everybody. Um, yeah. and really imagine not shitting on half an audience base. I know, and just staying like, hey, this, what's the main point of this? Oh, for people to have a good time. What if we just told a good story, you know, what? and everybody just up. enjoyed it. But what about? Girl power, politics, everything like that. And you're like, the message. <laughs> the message. The message. Versus, well, look at Alien, Aliens. Ripley's a fucking dope ass character. And guess what was Absolutely. it? Shoved down our throat the entire yeah. time. And she, she was just a badass. Like, that was the end of that message. And everybody fucking, that's like one of the <laughs> quintessential dude movies is <laughs> Aliens. Alien, Aliens. You're like, this is fucking dope as shit. Well, but because I, she had to, she had to struggle through trauma first. Like she had to struggle through the first alien to get to aliens. That's yeah. why everybody likes it. You're like, okay, yeah, I get it. You're a badass now. This Holy is fine. Yeah. yeah, James Cameron and I mean James Cameron, Ridley Scott. They were writing those characters proper yeah. back in the day before even Sarah they Connor. Shifting. James James Cameron, Sarah Connor. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, they had oh, female man. characters, uh, female time ladies. Uh, they called and they could have done a show on, but they decided to what what even Stephen Moffat, the guy who was running the show prior yeah. to sh her showing up, said will be a desperation move. And it was and it killed the ratings. And I just pointed that out. And that's when the channel started blowing up because I just had that controversial opinion, uh, which oh, so you know, crazy of you, dude. I yeah. know. Well, th th it just shows how like what a parody world we were entering. I mean, things are still bad now. It's like turning around, but things are like comical now. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that, so I did that and um, I saw it blowing up pretty quick and I'm like, you know what? I should take a shot at this YouTube thing. I can do parts anywhere. I can get that job. So I somehow convinced my wife. I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this YouTube thing for six months. If it doesn't work out, you know, I'll just go back to another job. She's like, sure. Okay. And it worked. Like within a couple of months, it, it was enough to where... I could sustain sustain 